Hi, I'm Dan from ThemeParknut.com and today we're doing a book review of It's a Kind of Cute Story by Rolly Crump as told to Jeff Heimbach. It's a Kind of Cute Story tells the life story, or part thereof, of Rolly Crump, one of the most unique and intriguing Imagineers from the early days of Imagineering. Rolly was a Disney animator first, before becoming a designer involved with several of the quintessential Disney attractions. Rolly was a Disney animator first, before becoming involved with several of the most influential Disney attractions design. The Enchanted Tiki Room, uh, The Haunted Mansion, It's a Small World. He then worked in various capacities as an artist and a theme park consultant all around the world before returning to the Walt Disney Company um, when they were building the Epcot Center to work on the land and the wonders of life pavilions. Rolly Crump has led an extraordinary life. In fact, some of the stories in this book you wouldn't believe if you didn't know that they were connected to the life of Rolly Crump. For Disney enthusiasts, there are some great little tidbits in this book. Uh, for example, there's a whole section on the Museum of Weird, the long rumoured precursor to the Haunted Mansion, uh, in incredible detail, in detail that you won't find in any other book. Because these details were plucked directly out of Rolly Crump's mind. As you can see, this book is a large format book, and the purpose of that is to give you a chance to have a look at some of Rolly's art. Um, the Pages are literally littered with large images and paintings of Rolly's work. The art showcased in this book are both personal and theme park related, but together it gives you a really good handle on who Rolly is. The co-author of this book, Jeff Heimbach, doesn't take enough credit for his work in this book. Uh, it's clearly evident when reading this book that this story only holds together because a chaotic and unorganized mind was filtered through an extremely organized and rigorous one. This book needed Rolly to have lived this life, but an equally needed Jeff to be able to tell it as a story. If I can fault Jeff at all as a co-author of this book is that he's too much of a fan of Rolly, which is hardly a criticism for a co-authored biography. Now, I should say, if you're expecting this book to be a shiny, happy, pixie dusk, how to be an Imagineer type story that's completely clean, Disney and G-rated, you're wrong. That is not what this book is, because that is not who Rolly Crump is. This book is warts and all, but it's far more interesting because of that. This is not the story of how to be an Imagineer either. Really, it's the story of how to be a slightly insane artist who occasionally does some incredible Imagineering. This book is tricky to read at times, and it's not a perfect book by any stretch of the imagination. But I think at least some of that was intentional. Um, I think this truly is meant to reflect what Rolly Crump, as a great artist, thinks about his own life. I give It's a Kind of Cute Story three and a half out of five nuts. Thanks for watching my review of It's a Kind of Cute Story. If you have any comments or questions, leave them in the section down below. If you want to check us out on Twitter, we are at Theme Park Nut and our blog is ThemeParkNut.com. Don't forget to subscribe and until next time, cheers.